Hello internet, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're watching this. Uh, I've been tasked or challenged uh, by my friend Zach, Zach was here, um, to basically react on my old magic videos. So that is what we're going to do today. Um, I've picked some from the 100 Days of Magic, which was a series we did, um, I don't know how many years ago now, when was it? 2014, so like six years ago. Um, and what we did is we basically went around, harassed people. Um, basically it was our take on kind of street magic. The idea was that we'd upload a magic video every day for 100 days, that was the challenge. So, you know, alternating between us, there ended up being a group of five of us. Um, and what we used to do is we used to go out there just film um, film tricks, they'd be unedited, it'd just be literally find people, ask if we can perform, ask if they didn't mind being filmed, etc. And we'd do a trick. Now the problem with this is, what we used to do is we used to meet up most of the time weekly when we could all, all actually get together. And we'd try and film kind of a week's worth and then I'd go and edit and, and upload them each day. And uh, the downside to this was it was a very fast turnaround um, so a lot of the tricks, we'd literally, you know, we'd 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 find a trick that we wanted to do, um, perform it. However, it turned out, that's that's what got posted, um, just because we wanted to. That was our challenge to kind of do the hundred days, which we managed to do. Um, but it did result in some rather cringy, weird videos, um, which I'm going to look over now. Um, and yet, a lot of the time. Well, especially towards the end, we were like, we didn't want to perform that many tricks that we were going to perform in our normal repertoire, like when we do gigs and things. Um, but we wanted to make it as interesting and as fun as possible. So what happened is by the end of it, we were often performing tricks that we'd only just learned. Um, and yeah, the, the results show. So anyway, let's look at the first video. So to start with, um, Really bad audio, as I put on the video. We're on a train. Um, and this is actually Aldimo, one of the other guys. And this was on our way uh, over to the city we were filming in. Uh, for some reason we decided to film on the train. Bad idea. Um, and the weird thing about this is obviously I'm performing to him, another magician. Um, there's a really bad flash there. Really bad flash there. Um, and my excuse is that it's actually one of his tricks. I don't know why I ended up performing it. It's just like, here, perform this. And he showed me how to do it quickly. And I literally learned it there. And it's only a quick little, um, ooh, ah, ah, what's going on? Um, yeah, so it's only a quick, uh, only a quick little video, but it wasn't something I normally perform. And, and also at the end, um, I don't know if you hear, it's like a kind of fake reaction obviously it's his trick like i don't i still don't know why why we uh well why we actually film that trick at all so the second one uh we filmed in a bar and i'd not been that used to performing much yet uh, especially not to to drunk people um and as you'll see now let me just play it there we go. So I literally go straight into the trick. Don't really introduce myself or anything. Um, and I speed through it really fast. I'm trying not to forget. I'm like speeding through it. Oh, 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 oh. Right, no, to be honest, I still use that joke. When someone says, how long have you been doing it for? You look at your watch and you say, oh, about two minutes or what? It's terrible. It's, it's yeah, I still use it though. It's just, yeah, why not? Um, but yeah, as you can see, I just go straight on. <laughs> Seems to enjoy it, but... Now she's confused. See, it's, it kind of starts off alright. 
but I go through it so fast um, because I'm having to remember the order to do things and I actually remember how to perform a trick. Um, it's just like, I don't even know if she's following it. She's just, it, she's not amazed, it's just pure confusion. Like the worst bit's coming up. Then, then she goes off on a tangent and she starts telling me about someone who she knew who used to do card tricks all that. Normally, what I do now is kind of put the trick on hold for a bit, remember where I was, um, actually strike up conversation, actually build up a, build up rapport with my audience member and, you know, chat. And, and a lot of the gigs I go to, a lot of it is chatting and almost like making friends before I do the tricks. Um, but anyway, yeah, as you can see, I just look at her as if to say, how dare you interrupt this trick? And wait for her to give me a bit of a break. And then I carry, I carry straight on, like completely ignore what she's told me, the poor lady. <laughs> and now I just laugh at the camera as if to say, um, oh, can you believe that happened? She interrupted my trick, even though it's me that's showing her the trick. Oh, that's, that's, that's terrible. I hate it. I hate it. Um, ah, oh, that's probably one of my worst, that one. Has to be. So this one we filmed in a bar, um, and we, we basically harassed the, uh, the bar, the people that worked there. Well, no, we didn't. What, what happened is we, we were performing and we'd go in there quite a lot. So they'd know us and they were happy with us filming and whatever. You know, we bought loads of drinks and, we, you know, we'd chill out in there and they enjoyed. And we said, you know, is it all right? We're just doing this project. If it's okay with people being filmed, can we perform to them? And be, like, it won't cost you anything or whatever. And they went, yeah, sure. Just don't annoy people. Um, and then obviously some of the bar staff, because they saw us so much, when it were quiet, they'd be like, oh, can you show us something? Um, so I believe at this point, um, someone had already showed... Uh, one of the other bar staff members a trick and this guy wasn't that interested I don't think about seeing it but then it was my turn and I got this guy who like I say I don't think he, he wanted to see it but um, I'm not seeing this for ages See, now normally, this is a trick, it requires like a lot of counting and not much is going on to start with. Um, this is the kind of trick now I would perform. I'd do a few quick visual things so that they knew what I was capable of before I'd go into this. Um, starting on kind of a long-winded trick, probably not a good idea. And like I say, it was probably, I think it was the first trick that, that this particular guy had seen, so not a great start. Also, the dog bowls, they're, a bit, they're pretty deep. You literally do get a dog bowl with scampy chips, all sorts, just chilli, just in a bowl. Anyway, I, mean, <laughs> I do believe the bowl is quite sticky as well, so... Uh, Like I don't, I don't know if I wanted him to pick more, I'm not sure. I've got a feeling, I don't, feel like I did it. I've got a feeling like this trick went wrong. I don't know if it went wrong in the video or whether I kind of redid it. So, what I'm going to try and do first, my intuition, I'm going to try and work out what colour the card uh, is before okay. you do it. Yeah. So I'm going to go first one, I'm going to go... Um, hmm. Black card. And also, I, I, my thinking, it's a bit too... I don't know, I just... My style, I was really... Trick, like nothing else. I needed to be a bit more me, kind of thing. That seems to be going right. Now this last one, I'm going to go a step further and try and 
No, oh, there, I've, I've done my, oh, I'm thinking, oh, uh, but I'm still trying to talk to him and I'm like this. I'm like trying to amp up like, hey, look, I'm thinking, uh, oh, oh, no, I'm trying to think of your card. And I don't know why. Oh, there we go again. Oh, I've constantly got my hand on my face. What's uh... Yeah, it went right. Uh, now you see, see my my nervous laugh then, and it, it's kind of like it's almost like pity because like like I said, I think I'd already showed it to him, and the uh, the trick had gone wrong before, and I said, "Oh, can I do it again?" So he kind of semi knew what was coming. Um, yeah, not very good. Right, so this is the last one I'm gonna gonna have a look at. Um, and I, I noticed in this one when I quickly watched it like earlier that a lot of it stems from me being not as confident and performing. Um, so here we go. Prediction. Um, all I'm gonna do is leave it in an and what made me more nervous, I think, as well is they're like, oh, cool, magic. Can we can we film as well? So I was wary about like obviously, I know um, Zach mentioned in his video um, about. Um, about having a magician filming you because that helps a lot. Um, obviously, they know the angles and they know where to look and, and stuff like that. Like, you know, um, whereas having people right in front of you with the cameras is just like I, I'm wary of. I'll make sure that if I'm doing something sneaky, that they, this person doesn't see it. This person all all the time whilst trying to perform to the, the other person as well. So. Like I said, there, there was no no confidence. I was like, so who who wants to pick a card? And a lot of fumbling. Like I still have pocket management problems. I I still tend to carry way more than I need. But. Uh, Yeah, I don't. I don't think this trick's that bad, to be honest. It's quite a nice one. Um, it's just my complete fumbling and like lack of confidence, as if I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I kind of semi didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> she was there in the cameras. Um, I did like the shot of seeing through his camera as well. That was quite nice. Um, so yeah, I made a prediction before. There seems to be a lot of. Um, um, <laughs> I'll do that now, but yeah, there seems to be a lot of fumbling around still. Now, luckily, I think I think I was quite happy that he did kind of forget his card then, only because it was a bit more distraction. I was still, my brain was still going through like the rest of the, tr you know, like what I was actually doing, you know, because I was so kind of flustered. But. If I predicted the seven of diamonds beforehand. Yeah. That'd be pretty impressive. That would be very impressive. Yeah. What if actually? Oh, we got multi camera angle as well. That was a rarity. That was a rarity. That. <laughs> is that your sign? See. There? Yes, that is. That's my name. At the time, <laughs> that wasn't <laughs> the reaction that I wanted. <laughs> but now, looking at it, it was. It was. I. I. I suppose at the time, I was expecting a. Oh my god, wow, wow, wow. and then um looking back at it, it was more of a shock, like trying to figure out what was going on and then obviously showed it to his friend's camera and, and um so yeah it wasn't it wasn't a bad it wasn't the worst one. I'd say probably that might have been one of the the, the better tricks that I performed. <laughs> that just shows the, the quality of the tricks I did then. Um yeah, so uh yeah, there's my looking back on some of my videos there's probably other ones i might end up doing a follow-up looking at others looking at some of my like non 100 days ones um so yeah i will leave a link to um zach's channel um so you can see his video uh, ben's also doing one i'll leave a link once once he's made his and uh yeah i'll leave a link to 100 days in case you want to watch all these um all these and there is a hundred a hundred days video where it is all hundred days that I edited into one long video so you can just sit and watch and yeah there's some good stuff in there 
but there's a lot of bad stuff but like I say it, it was a on the fly let's do this kind of thing um, yeah so oh, uh, one thing I did make notes just so that I knew what I was saying but one thing I forgot to mention in the last video uh, and I know um, Zach mentioned it as well is narrating what the spectators already know and I used to do that a lot I probably still do it a little bit but um, yeah at the end he takes his card out it's clearly his signed card that's been in the envelope the whole time etc and I go to them is that your signed card and he goes yeah that's my name it's like of course it's your signed card like why did I why you knew that um, yeah so anyway <laughs> thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it um, if you want more videos like this let me know and I'll make more videos like this anyway thanks for watching